Welcome to Channel Game IQ. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a great looking action adventure game called Little Devil Inside. We're going to start off with the latest trailer, have a talk about the details of the game and the gameplay. I must say, I'm really looking forward to this game, so I'm very intrigued to know what you think. So please do leave me a comment. Little Devil Inside is an upcoming action-adventure video game developed and published by Neostream Interactive. The game's single-player and cooperative multiplayer modes both follow the professional and personal lives of explorers searching for monsters and supernatural events. It's planned for initial release on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4 and Windows in July 2021, followed by Xbox One, Nintendo Switch at a later date. The game takes place in a 19th century Victorian inspired setting with elements of steampunk. The developers described it as a surreal, unrealistic world, somewhere between heaven and hell. The main characters are explorers employed by a college professor to travel the world in search of the supernatural and other unusual incidents. Little Devil Inside is a third-person 3D action-adventure role-playing video game with elements of survival, combat and open-world exploration. However, its developers Neostream Interactive have described the game's survival elements as rather easy compared to other games in the survival genre, stating that the game is not about how long you can survive in a certain environment, instead being about taking a trip for a mission and surviving during the process. Examples of the game survival elements include harvesting water from cacti and chopping wood to make fires. Players can use a variety of weapons and tools to survive and accomplish their objectives such as the sword, shield, gun, grappling hook, bombs, tent and cooking equipment.
The game takes place across multiple locations with differing environmental conditions, including desert, snow, forest, mountain, swampland and deep sea diving. Although on overall map is available, players cannot fast forward their travel to these locations. Instead, they must take direct control of their transportation during the journey and respond to events that occur on the way. Players also have the ability to upgrade their transportation alongside their weapons and armour as the game progresses. Between missions, players can return to safety of the game's hometown to rest and prepare for further adventures. According to NeoStream, this preparation is key to further success, and they have said you will need to prepare for unexpected encounters with the weather, have the necessary intel about the region, equip your gear as you see fit, get on a vehicle and react to unexpected events that arise during your journey. Depending on how you prepare for the mission and how you react and respond to events will determine how easily or hard you can achieve the missions. The game also includes roguelike gameplay elements. In the event of a player's character dying, the character cannot be resurrected. However, the player can take subsequent characters to the same location in order to recover any lost equipment. The game leans towards a minimalist visual style with only minimal user interface and avoidance of menus wherever possible, instead requiring players to ascertain details by observing visual cues and communicating with their character. For example, characters will begin to limp if they are hurt, cough if they become sick or shiver if they become too cold. Similarly, although the various characters available to the players will have different traits and stats, these will not be explicitly displayed to the player, instead requiring them to be deduced. And finally, the game will also support cooperative multiplayer, including local multiplayer, where more than one player participates in the same mission. Additionally, the game features the possibility of random encounters between players. So that brings us to the end of the video. Don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this game. Until the next time, thanks for watching Channel Game IQ.